The next step in preparing for surface creation is importing a database. A database serves the main purpose of validation, which allows users to scan against a database to determine whether a code value is valid or not. It also allows for the connecting of barcodes with relevant information. On CodeReader, you can create a new database or import a file containing this data. To begin, we'll click on Create a Database. After we've given it a name, we can start to manually input the code values and corresponding response values as well. We can also mark that value valid or invalid. It can be time consuming to manually add every barcode in response though. If you have been given information, such as a list of ticket values sold, or want to create a file more easily for uploading large amounts of data, you'll need to create a CSV file. This will save a lot of time and is the typical way clients import their data. A CSV file for our use is very simple to create. It will consist of three columns at maximum. The first column will be your barcode values. The second will be the information you want displayed when that value is scanned, or the response. The final column is for one of two possible values. The only thing you will have in this column is either a 0 or a 1. A 0 indicates that a particular value is invalid, while a 1 indicates validity. You do not need to include this column if all of your values are valid upon import. If you are looking for more options regarding validation, we'll discuss this later in Service Creation Configurations. The response value can be any information up to 13,400 characters on Android devices, and is what is displayed on the app user's device screen when the corresponding barcode is scanned. For example, the response text is often the name of an event attendee, or of tracking inventory, a product description. It can also be special instructions for the app user, i.e. indicating a VIP ticket, or displaying the current location of an asset. You might want to make a set of codes invalid to signal to the app user to do something, like deny entry or not ship an item. Once your file is finished, simply save it as a CSV, and upload under the import section. In the database features, you also have the ability to search for values included in the file or clear it entirely if needed. If you'd like to download the contents of a database, you can use the Export Database feature. The Export section is also where you would export your generated barcodes as .gif files. However, we do not recommend using this feature for bulk printing. The vast majority of our customers use a third-party service to obtain the barcode values themselves and re-upload that information to our program for validation. We also have an autofill feature. Typically, this is only to be used in niche cases where the barcode values are not determined or have yet to be made and need a value assigned to them in order to be made. Here we can have the website generate a programmatic set of values for any purpose. The numbers can be ordered or random can contain letters, be of any length between 3 and 12 characters, and include a text suffix or prefix. The string of characters we generate will auto-populate the database and be matched with any response value we might want to associate with this group.